It's time for the Donna K Show. Sometimes controversial, but always authentic. The Donna K Show is a music insider's view into the world of business and entertainment. Hosted by writer, director, and music entrepreneur, yours truly, Donna K. Let's get it started. Hola, people. Hola. Yours truly, Donna K. Thank you for logging on. Thank you for tuning in. And thank you for listening to the Diamond K Show. And you can check me out daily right here on UStreamRadio.com. Do me a favor. Grab my book on Amazon.com. It's called You Are Not the Father. It is my story and is available in paperback, digital, and audio versions. So go there. Grab that. Check out the Uh, First couple chapters, you can do that right there. Um, You are not the father. Uh, Leave a comment and uh, definitely spread the word. Uh, My book by yours truly, Diamond K, Dwayne Williams. Dwayne Diamond K. Williams. Uh, You are not the father. Now, with that being said, I want to take a moment to also recognize our various Internet partners uh, where you can hear the Diamond K show. Stitcher Radio, uh, also on iTunes, LibSing, YouTube and blogtalkradio.com. If you would like to bring the Diamond K show to your website, just send an email to interviews at ustreamradio.com and let's talk some business. Now that I've got uh, all of that out of the way, let's get into today's topic. You know, it doesn't pay to run your mouth, okay? Especially if you can't back it up. Now, I'm not saying he's a bum. Well, not exactly. But uh, last night, Marcos Medina knocks Adrian Broner down twice on his way to winning the welterweight title. Adrian Broner, uh, a lot of people call him the poor man's Mayweather. Uh, He parades around. He talks a lot of trash. He even jumps Jumps around and acts like a rapper. He, he can actually rap. Um, and uh, he, he's also known for, after his matches, having his father brush his hair. Uh, well, last night, <laughs> Marcos Medina overpowered the heavily favored Adrian Broner to take the WBA welterweight championship, knocking him down twice in a unanimous decision Saturday night in Texas. Now, Adrian Broner was undefeated and also had never been knocked down before. Um, The target of heavy trash talking leading up to the fight, Medina was dominant in handing the Brash Broner his first loss in 28 fights. Now, a lot of people, uh, you know, some people, I guess, you know, like the way that Adrian Broner conducts himself. Um, The judges' scores were the following, 115 to 110, 116 to 109, and 117 to 109 all in favor of the new champion who is from Argentina. They even put a crown on his head at the end of the fight. Um, Now, here's the bad part, all right? You lose the fight, that's fine. Uh, There was a headbutt that happened that had Adrian Broner rolling around on the ground like I had never seen before. Um, And... uh, Adrian Broner's nickname is the problem, but uh, it appears that uh, the gentleman from Argentina who is 35 and 3 had the answer with power that the uh, three time world champion had never been faced with before. As, as he rose to the ranks and uh, fought some opponents, he looked impressive, and I think that's what led to his cockiness. But as he's gone up in quality of opponents, we see that um, uh, not so much. So um, Broner says he's still a still a three time world champion in three different weight classes. Um, Tonight, 
uh, he was just a better man, but we fought a hell of a fight. I hope the fans got what they deserved. I'm still going to live like we won the fight, and I'm still going to party. Um, I don't know about that, uh, but uh, with the victory, uh, Medina set up a possible fight with Keith Thurman. On the undercard, Thurman stopped um, Jesus in the ninth round. Um, the new champion left little question of what he wanted to do, landing 231 of 663 power punches while only connecting with 38 jabs. He was definitely going for the knockout. Um, Adrian Broner may not even remember the fight. Um, but the power stunned the confident Broner, who was unable to use any type of counter punches or anything. Um, I'm telling you one thing, make a rematch, Broner said. I don't need a warm-up fight. I want a rematch. Does anybody want to see that? I think they probably do. I think we would love to see him get his butt kicked some more. I mean, uh, he he staggered Brony, Broner early in the opening round with an overhand right to the back of the head, uh, causing the Cincinnati fighter to stumble, trying to regain his footing. Um, I exchanged some funny tweets uh, with uh, legendary rapper Craig G, who said that Adrian Broner was doing the stinky leg, if you remember that dance. Uh, but um, Broner attempted to wrap up uh, Medina as uh, as he tried to wrestle free and land some power punches of his own. Um, Broner is a very good puncher. The new champion said he's a very good boxer, very good puncher. Uh, yes, I felt his blows, but um, it um, it didn't look too good. Also, folks took to Twitter. And Instagram and and Facebook with all types of funny captions. Let's take a look at some of the funny uh, things that people put together about Adrian Broner. Take a look at some of this funny stuff. All right. With that being said, of course, if you have a product, service, or an event coming up, Hit me up, interviews at ustreamradio.com. I would love to talk to you, and let's chop it up. As always, I'm on social media, Instagram and Twitter, at The Diamond K Show, on Facebook, at DJ Diamond K. And uh, for everyone here at Ustream Radio, I will see you guys tomorrow. Take care.